The 115th annual Boston Marathon, the world's oldest one, closed down on Monday. The race attracted thousands of spectators. Many were holding signs or even national flag to support the runners along the route. The running course started in the rural New England town of Hopkinton, and the finish line is near Copley Square in downtown Boston. I'm outside of Copley Station, where it's very close to the finish line of Boston Marathon. Around 26,000 of runners participate in the race. There are a lot of people behind me cheering for their families, their friends, and even for people they don't know. I mean, it's great to see all these people out here, and it's nice to see the get-ups and see people running for causes. And I mean, it's just a really nice spectacle. I haven't seen anything like it. My sister, name, his name is Christine Doyle. This is her first Boston Marathon that she qualified for. And according to what she just ran in right now, she just qualified for next year's marathon as well. Christine, we are so proud of you and excited for your accomplishment, and we look forward to seeing you again next year. During the race, some athletes were wearing interesting outfit, catching people's eyes. The soldiers also took part in the race with their uniforms and gears. Some got injured, but with the help of others, they insisted to complete the race. For all participants, the race will be the most unforgettable memory. I'm just happy to be done. I've run it the last, I think, 18 or 19 years, and I'm going to try to qualify somewhere else and come back again next year. We have to be ready for it physically, but you know, the last half is you know, a mental challenge, just keeping yourself going. And this is the third one, so I might do it again. Many runners have achieved their own personal accomplishment. For them, winning the race is not important. The finishing is. For BU News Service, this is Pew Chan reporting in Boston.